Wednesday Night Baseball, National TV, Fox Sports 1, 745 Eastern, Brewers and Cardinals. I'm going to let you know how to play this game and make some money. Free analysis and a free play coming up for Wednesday night in just a moment. Hi, this is Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com, right back here on Wager Talk TV. And we're breaking down your national TV game for Wednesday night at 745 Eastern on Fox Sports 1 Network. Milwaukee at St. Louis. And on the surface, might be surprising to see the Cardinals, the weaker team, the weaker pitcher, as a slight home favorite. And I would agree. I mean, Milwaukee's in excellent current form here. Uh, the team's gone 19-11 their last 30. They entered this game uh, on a six-game win streak. They won 3-2 last night in game one against the Cardinals. Meanwhile, St. Louis has lost seven of their last eight games. They're just 11-19 and their last 30, 2-8 and their last 10, 7-13 and their last 20. So definitely not looking to get the Cardinals here as a small favor. But I'm also not looking to play the Brewers because it actually might be a pretty good bounce-back spot for Kyle Gibson the Cardinals starters having a very mediocre season. So we're going to look at the total instead. And I do like the under 7.5 in this game on Wednesday. And that's your free play here for this video. Once again, Brewers and Cardinals under 7.5. I mentioned Kyle Gibson having a very mediocre season. And he's a mediocre pitcher to start with. 2022, he had a 5.1 ERA. Last year, a 4.7. Actually, a 4.3 ERA this year is better. But he is in poor current form. His last seven games going back to early July... 5.2 ERA, but it's a little misleading because he had a really bad outing last week, a week ago last Wednesday at Cincinnati when he gave up seven runs, six of them earned in just four and two-thirds innings, and that's kind of thrown off his recent numbers. But if you look at overall, he's pitched pretty well. The starts before that were all solid outings, his last four or five starts, and I do think he's capable of holding a Milwaukee offense that's in mediocre current form in check. I know Milwaukee's won six straight games entering the night, uh, but their offense is actually cooling off. They've had three runs or less now in their, each of their last three wins after putting up five runs or more in the first three wins of the six-game winning streak. In fact, over the last 10 games, Milwaukee has scored three runs or less in seven of their last 10 games. Can't trust the Cardinals' offense. As I mentioned, they've lost seven of their last eight games straight up, and the main reason has been a slump in offense. In fact, in uh, those seven of those last eight games that they've lost straight up, uh, they have scored three runs or less in six of those eight games. So two offenses that are not in great current form. Two pitchers I think they'll throw well tonight. Kyle Gibson in bounce back mode after a bad start. A little extra rest after pitching last Wednesday. And let's talk about Tobias Myers, Milwaukee starter. He's quietly having an excellent season um, with a 2.8 ERA. And he's even better in his last seven starts since early July. 2.2 ERA. So I look for both pitchers to hold the edge tonight. Both offenses will be lukewarm to cool, and we'll play under 7.5. Brewers Cardinals under 7.5 at 7.45 Eastern Wednesday night on Fox Sports 1 National TV. Now, that's a free opinion for you, a game that was just a bit outside for making the cut. I've got a bonus free play for you in the Guardians-Yankees game tonight, a huge matchup in the American League. Guardians-Yankees free play on my page right now at wagertalk.com, so go get a bonus free play in the American League. But while you're there, I highly recommend getting my steamroller best bet for tonight and here's there's a couple reasons why first of all it's half price wednesday you're getting an instant 50 percent discount this play is normally 25 it's just 12.50 tonight so that alone is a fantastic value but i'm also the hottest and most profitable capper at wagertalk.com the last three days the last seven days the last 30 days in major league baseball however you want to cut it i am red hot in fact five straight winners the past four days and nights here as we enter Wednesday, and we're on an 8-1 and one run over the past week. The only reason we're not a perfect 9-0 and oh is we had a team blow a 2 nothing lead in the top of the ninth last Friday. Otherwise, we'd be a perfect 9-0. and oh. Still 8-1 and one, and still number one the last seven days at wagertalk.com. And more importantly, we're number one the last 30 days, hitting 65% on all baseball plays, up over 40 units of profit. And I've got another strong steamroller going tonight at wagertalk.com. And best of all, not only am I red hot, but it's only half price because it's special half price Wednesday tonight and tonight only. Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com. Get there quicker with shortcut wt.buzz slash sm. Don't forget about that bonus free play as well on my page right now. Hey, if you're finding this information useful, comment below and let me know who you like tonight on Wednesday. If you're liking these videos, I'll keep them coming. I read all the comments. I reply back. What else are you looking at on the Wednesday night baseball card? Let's all win together. Comment below. Include some analysis as well if you have the time. And don't forget also that it is very important that you click subscribe and hit the bell for instant alerts because football is right around the corner. And my NFL Fade the Public video will start in a few weeks. College Football Top 25 video will start next week with a full slate of games. You don't want to ever miss some of these free play videos in baseball on a daily basis, but the football content is coming up starting next week as well. So click subscribe and hit the bell for an instant alert 
when my free play videos go live here on Wager Talk TV. And on the way out, give this video a thumbs up like if you don't mind. That goes a great way to keeping the content free and plentiful here on Wager Talk TV. And speaking of free and content that's plentiful and winnable, stay tuned here for some more free baseball insight coming up on Wager Talk TV. That's coming up next. And oh, by the way, I'll be on MLB First Pitch tomorrow on Thursday and on Friday live at 11 a.m. Eastern, both Thursday and Friday live here on First Pitch. Another reason to click the bell for instant alerts. We answer any games that you want to cover in the live chat. So check out Wager Talk TV today, tomorrow, Friday. Lots of great free baseball content here and coming up next.